Hi, welcome back to Foster Care Awareness Month. If you're new here, my name is Anna Leonora, together with my husband, Jason. We are foster and adoptive parents in real life, and here on my channel from the Fosters, we do foster parenting and adoptive parenting life together, and we raise awareness for the foster care system uh, and for foster parenting. So, uh, yeah, if any of that interests you, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel down below. Don't forget to hit your post notification bell while you're down there. Um, set your notifications to all so that you won't miss when I post any new videos like this. And so you can join my growing cyber family here on YouTube. So again, it is Foster Care Awareness Month. It is May 2022. I'm trying to do a couple short videos of just like rapid fire answering some questions that I've gotten on my channel about foster parenting in general. So today I'm going to answer the question, do you have to be religious to be a foster parent? In short, no. No. Um, the longer answer being also no. <laughs> no, you don't have to be religious. Um, there may be certain agencies, like if you're going to go through a private agency, there may be certain agencies that are uh, religion based. I know that there's a lot of um, Christian churches and Christian groups and Christian agencies. I know that there's some LDS, which again falls under the umbrella of Christianity, but there's some LDS groups and agencies that do foster parenting and foster care. Um, so if you go through an agency like that, they may require you to sign something that you subscribe to the religion of the agency. Uh, but in general, do you have to be religious to be a foster parent? No. If you are religious and a foster parent, um, can you take children who are a different religion than you? Yeah, you can. We ask, and they'll tr train you in this when you're with your foster parent training, but they ask that you be respectful and mindful that the child has a different religion than you. And on the other side of that coin is if you're not religious and you take in a child who comes from a very strongly religious family, that you take that into consideration, that you educate yourself on that religion. You continue to um, try to keep certain traditions, practices, uh, teachings alive for that child because that's something that's a big part of their life and they've already lost so much having come into foster care we don't want to take that away from them too if you are a religious person you don't want to force your religion on a child who isn't yours um, of course you can teach them and you can educate them on your religion but certainly don't force it upon them uh, that's not your child and it's not fair to the child do some children come into foster care without a religion and want to learn about the foster family's religion and get very involved in it? Absolutely, that happens. Do you sometimes have a religious foster family that takes in a child who was raised without religion that wants nothing to do with religion? Absolutely, that happens. And as a foster parent, it is your responsibility to respect a child's wishes, respect a bio family's wishes, respect a child's culture, heritage, background, religion, all of those things. So do you have to be religious? No, there are a lot of Christian groups um, and I'm sure other religions, but I know Christianity is a big one in uh, the US that lead to foster care uh, sort of ministries. So we do get a lot of foster parents that are Christian and there's a stereotype that you have to be Christian or you have to be religious or you have to go to a church that's just not true. You see a lot of that because there are a lot of Christian churches and a lot of Christian organizations that have ministries for foster care. So it does lead a lot of people to foster care, but no, you don't have to be religious. Um, I was raised Christian, but I don't currently identify with any particular religion. And um, I said that during my foster parent application that I was raised Christian, so I understand Christian beliefs. But I've also learned a lot about other religions and I don't currently subscribe to um, or identify as any one particular religion. Um, and my agency was fully aware of that. They had no further questions. They had no concerns. They did not care. The only thing we do ask is if you get a child who does have a very strong faith or religion that you would educate yourself on that. Um, you know, even asking the bio parents, the bio family, or just doing research so that you can help keep that alive for the child while they're in your care. Uh, but it's never been an issue in my home. It's never been an issue with children that have come through. Uh, we have 
I, it does happen that there are children from very religious families that come into foster care. We have not had any of those children. All of the children that have come to us have come from families who don't go to church or don't teach, you know, specific practices or aren't very strong in their faith or their religion. So we haven't had to do that. But we certainly were open to it. If someone were to come to us with dietary restrictions due to their religion or certain holidays that they celebrate that are different than the ones that maybe we celebrate, we were open to learning those things and keeping that alive for those kids. But we have not had to do that yet. But yeah, short answer and long answer. No, you don't have to be religious. You do see it a lot just because there are a lot of Christian ministries that that lead to foster care. Um or really try to raise awareness for get foster parents and, you know, do all these things for these children in foster care. So you see a lot of it, but it's absolutely, there are plenty of foster families who don't either have a religion or don't go to church or don't subscribe to a certain religion or foster families who maybe aren't Christian, but identify as a different religion. I hope that that helped answer your question. If you have any further questions about religion and foster care, you are welcome to leave them down below. Or you can go find me on my Instagram at from, at from the fosters. Um, my DMs are open over there. You can always DM me there as well. Otherwise, until next time, I love you guys. Go out and continue to shine your light into the world.